Hi everyone, it's Regina and welcome to my channel. I'm a business student specializing in business analytics at the National University of Singapore. In this video, I am going to share about a web app that my groupmates and I have worked on for one of our modules during this semester. And the module is called Descriptive Analytics with R. And our programming language is mainly used for statistics, data analysis, and machine learning. For our project, we have to create a web app that collects data and provides um, interactive charts and insights for the users so that they can make better informed decisions. So I am going to share all about the idea, features, and everything in between. Okay, let's start with the idea. So as students in Singapore, we know that education plays a pivotal role in our lives and there is some form of importance when it comes to choosing which school to study at, such as selecting secondary, JC, poly, ITE, and even universities. However, the current process of comparing schools is quite tedious and time-consuming as you would have to go on to each school's website to check out each of the website's information. So our group has decided to collect data and create a web app that allows for easier comparison and selection of universities for students. And currently, as far as we know, I don't think there's any existing platform that offers such data comparison for universities in Singapore yet. So we decided to work on this aspect. Moving on to the features and details of the web app, I have linked the app web app somewhere in this video or in the caption down below so be sure to check it out and yeah, I will show you guys a quick demo of the web app and how it works. We did not do much of the UI or UX so it doesn't look that appealing but otherwise it's fine I guess. There are a total of 4 tabs, overview, course information, CCAs and also cutoff points. So the first thing that you'll see is the overview tab which consists of the enrollment, intake and graduates number for the different courses for each year. And the sub tab is a map that shows the location of the different universities as well as the MRT stations and lines. And if you want to find more information about each university, you can just simply click on the link which will direct you to the university's website itself. The second tab shows employment and gender data. Here you can see the visualizations and compare the employment rate as well as the starting salary um, easily using these charts. So if we check out business degree, um, we can see this and that we know NTU accountancy and business has the highest employment rate and then NUS Business Administration has the higher starting salary pay. As for the gender ratio, you can see the distribution for each course if this is actually a deciding factor when it comes to choosing your university courses. The third tab is a compilation of all the CCAs from each school based on their CCA category. And this data visualization here shows us the number of CCAs in each school. So we can see that NUS has the most number of CCAs followed by NTU and then followed by SMU. You can also select the schools and then the category which will then show you the list of CCAs available in that particular school. The last tab shows the cutoff point for the different courses. After selecting your school, be it JC or Poly, you'll then enter your total rank point or a GPA. And then you'll be able to view the different courses um, that you can enter based on the 10th percentile. For example, if you enter Poly and then uh, your GPA is 3.7, you can see the available courses that you can go to. And if you're from JC, you just select JC and enter your rank point, for example, 80. And it also show you the universities and courses that you can apply for. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, do consider liking this video and subscribing to the channel. Stay safe and I will see you in the next video. Bye!